businesses and investors have been clamouring for greater clarity about how Brexit will happen. I'm joined now by the Chief Executive of Lloyd's of London, the insurance, not the bank. That's Inga Veal. Good to see you. Now, it's a hard Brexit. Yep. <laughs> the sharp intake of breath there, but you're not surprised. Not totally surprised, but I think it was important that she came out and addressed all the people, not only of the UK, but actually of the entire world. So I can tell you the whole world was watching and listening today. By hard Brexit, one assumes that also means no passporting for, or at least it will be a negotiating point of any access for the financial markets for Europe. Yes, so she was very clear. We will no longer be a member of the single market. Um, however, she did leave the door slightly open uh, when she said negotiating a free trade agreement with the EU. Possibly something allowing some of the financial services sector to then do business in the EU, continuing a Brexit, might occur as part of that, but we're continuing as though it's not going to happen. So, give me insight tonight. I need to understand, and of need from our other guests this evening, how are you going to manage this? You now know what the roadmap looks like. What's your next move? Well, we're continuing actually on our plan, and that means we've got a certain amount of our business comes from the EU. The EU is an important market for the Lloyds market. Um, some of our business will be directly impacted. That means we will no longer be licensed. We will no longer be able to provide insurance for EU policyholders. So that means we're going to set up a subsidiary Lloyds market um, in a country that is likely to remain in the EU, which means not the UK. So you're going to go for a subsidiary rather than trying some very complicated equivalents. Uh, regulations. Right, equivalence is a slightly different thing, okay. very technical. And very but, difficult. <laughs> yeah, but we need the licensing to be able to write the business in the first place. The equivalence doesn't it, give us the licensing. The equivalence gives us the ability to continue to write some very complex business from London. Right, so basically, what you, uh, sorry, I put in the cart before the horse, you need the license before you get the equivalence. Yeah. Now, are you, can you handle this? Come on. Of course we can. Of course we can. We're Lloyds of London. We've been around for nearly 329 years. We've been facing all sorts of adversity. We will get through this. We have our plan. 11% of the Lloyds market, uh, the, the revenues, comes from the EU, excluding the UK. Some of that will be directly impacted by Brexit. We're going to have an option for that business that's opening up a subsidiary in the EU.